after we move into the 178 pound competition, one of the highlighted bouts of the evening, Andre Ward of Oakland, California, and John Dovey of France at 178. They're expecting this one to be a barn burner. That's just from the local talk here. You, you wait to see and hope it pans out, but that's from the camps. So let's see if that works. Andre Ward coming at Dovey. Both fires with punching power and speed and with a reputation of being very co tough competitors. Andre said he would come out flying here against John Dovey. Ward ranked number one from the U.S. Challenge. So he's uh, at the top of the U.S. elite list. And this is an interesting bout. You look at the upper body confirmation of both boxers. And this should turn into a power surge at some point, Scott. Eventually they will. Eventually they'll settle down. The hypertension will go away. They'll set down and under the match. Left hook by Dovey. And they battle on the inside. They tie up. And they find some room. A jab by Dovey. Jab coming up short. And you can tell some of the butterflies might be existent here as these guys are getting off the mark quick but just a little bit short or just a little bit wide and as they settle we'll see some adjustments there both guys doing a little jabbing but nobody doubling up on their jab all night long we've seen very competitive matches it's been really exciting to watch these young fighters go train real hard work real hard excellent competition and they come out and they've showed good schooling and against veteran boxers older boxers the u.s team has held up well and the french team has been very proud this is the best french team i've seen and they're doing a good job in here so tight match Good bouts as we come to the end of round one between Andre Ward and John Dovey. Well, Andre Ward is from the Bay Area. Tonight, he's fighting in front of his home crowd. What type of pressure does that mean for him? It's very rare now that I've been on at the level that I've been on, but it feels great. Uh, we'll have a packed house, and I plan on putting on a show. Uh, it's very crucial in my career coming up to Olympic trials, and the Olympic Games itself because uh, he's one of the top. You have to beat the best to beat the best. So this will be a good test for myself as well as the Olympic team. Well, let's see if he is Andre the Entertainer when this one is over. He talked about putting on a show. We've got a 2-1 match in favor of Dovey. Dave Bontempo along with Scott Ledoux here in Reno. And Scott, we've seen the second round become the turnaround situation in a lot of these bouts where all of a sudden the guys find their offense. They find their offense and get their confidence, realize, hey, I can do this to this guy. I have this ability. Andre Ward, in his conversation there, he put a lot of pressure on himself tonight to do well and to win. Hey, pretty much measured where he is by this bout. Exactly. You talk Both about fighters. setting a standard for yourself. Both fighters, very competitive, very good fighters. One of them's got to establish the jab, the score, and land some jabs knocking the guy back then that right hand will land and as you continue to watch our telecasts of the countdown toward athens you'll hear a lot more boxers say this bout is going to measure where i am because each one of these bouts now takes on utmost significance if you're not happy with what you're doing you know you don't have that much time to get it right before the trials that's right and they know what their weaknesses are what they have to work on to get better well, it's four to one for Dovey right now, and Andre Ward unable to get that breakout combination. Left hook by Ward landing a nice stiff left hook there. That was a good punch. He's got to land more of those. There's a jab getting through and scoring for Andre Ward, cutting it to 4-2. It's nice to be rewarded for a jab. He's got to keep that jab going. He went downstairs with it a little bit. That's important. Knock him off balance. To let that jab come upstairs once in a while. It makes a big difference. Got to change it up. Can't always be the same. 
So some intrigue here while the action is something the crowd is waiting for. Round ends. It's the flash of a jack and a flick of the wrist. Hey, man, go ahead and get the point. Don't get excited, Danny. Don't get excited, okay? Don't get excited. Lose a jack. As you see, a, a good defensive fighter is Andre Ward. Only 12 points allowed in five matches. And only four allowed here through two, but he's losing 4-2. Round three underway, Dave Bontempo and Scott Ledoux from downtown Reno. Scott, between rounds, we see these French boxers always standing up. The USA boxers are on the stool. What do you think of the strategy of standing up and not getting your rest between rounds? I, sometimes I think that when you sit down, that cuts your wind. I think it's easier to get wind when you're standing up. You keep your legs under you. I, I, I don't know. It, it's, all, it's the way I used to box. I stood between every round, even 12-round title fights. And how about late in the bout? Did it ever feel like it cost you stamina by never having sitting down? No, it never caused me. He probably just kept him. I tried sitting down a couple times. I didn't like it. And I had to get up off that stool. Of course, I was lifting up 230 pounds. But, you know. Yeah, that's a factor. Now, you know what, though? We've seen a stark difference in the two corners and how they've handled that. The USA team sitting between rounds. And here, Andre Ward has managed to turn things around. Down 4-2, now up 6-4. Four. four points in a minute for Andre Ward. So a guy who's measuring himself by this bout will certainly love what he can measure in the last minute. He got four points after getting two for the first two rounds. Yes, but we got two more rounds to go. And he's uh, not allowing this guy to rest when he wants to rest. Even John Dovey starts taking a break there, and he rushed in and let him with a shot. It's exactly the right thing to do. You see a guy wanting to take a break, and you step in and collect that's more shots. And Ward driving Dovey back and scoring well, but did not get points. A shame for him because that was some of his best work. Unrewarded. So it remains a two-point bout, and very much up for grabs when we will begin round four. Andre Ward and John Zovi. Andre Ward just snapped his head back and then never got a point. Andre Ward won round three, four, nothing. And this is part of how he did it, Scott. That left hand, straight left hand, almost like a softball. He kept at it. Good left hook got in, and the uppercut scoring, the right hand behind it, and yet that got him nothing. No points. No points. Amazing. But yet, as we start round four, no matter how ballyhooed the computer scoring is, oddly enough, the right guy usually wins somehow. Somehow it works out. So final round, a two-point affair. An exciting one in terms of intrigue between Andre Ward of Oakland, California and John Dovey of France. In interesting concept when the guys know that they're behind in that last round. He knows he's got to come out and do something. And, you know, you got to think that uh, John Dovey's going to come out here and pour on the coals. But he's very wary of what's going on. He does not want to get caught by Andre Ward. Andre Ward doing a nice job moving, not running. Just keep moving side. Took him, ate a right hand right there, though. He ate that right hand. 6-5. What a tight battle with one minute to go. Andre Ward cannot let John Dovey land a combination because he can lose this fight. Andre Ward's got to land his combination. You can't fight conservatively in this close of fight. you got to fight your fight. As we've seen before, Xavier Noel and Andre Berto, a buzzer-beating punch, giving Noel a one-point win. And here we are, a one-point affair with 35 seconds to go. And these boxers have to know it's close. You don't want to make the mistake, but you have to do something aggressive. You do, and Andre Ward's got to do something here. You can't let this guy just keep coming forward. You've got to let him have some shots. Score some points, that takes care of him. You don't have to worry about how far if you're catching up tonight. Well, one of the real low scoring matches that we've had. Both boxers way in single digits. So, although a barn burner was expected, a tight match was given. 
And it's a one-pointer. But we'll let you think about who you think won this battle. And what this type of tight situation does, it does prepare these guys for learning how to box effectively in the last minute of a bout. And under pressure, knowing that they're behind right, or what they have, how they need to fight. Either one, you got to fight. The winner, fighting out of the blue corner from Oakland, California, Andre Wood. Well, the one-pointers are even. The French team got a one-point win. The U.S. team got a one-point win. And often, it's not the best punch that wins about. It's just the last one. And Andre Ward hits the winner's circle in a tough, tough match.